Big news today in the Flint water crisis. The first pipes were dug up in the city using public funding. Just a small step in what is going to be, of course, a very lengthy process, but it's a start. And as it was happening, preparations are well underway for Sunday's Democratic debate that's going to take place in Flint. Also today, Democratic, uh, national Democratic leaders were in the city to get a first-hand look at the crisis. Our consumer investigator Hank Winchester back in Flint today with a busy day there, Hank. Uh, definitely, Devin, a lot going on, but the big news really was the removal of the first lead pipe, part of the mayor's plan, and I asked Cruz if we could show it to you. This is a portion of the pipe that was removed here from the ground. Obviously, the danger is the lead uh, coating that is on the inside of this pipe. Take a look right here, though. As you can see, the work is done. This is one of the first homes in Flint where the homeowner can say for sure his water is safe. You are witnessing history right now in Flint. The first lead pipe removed by the city unearthed today. And it's day one of the Fast Start program, and this is something that is going to continue. I want to say that the goal, my mission, is to totally get the lead out of Flint. This home, the first of 30 across the city, taking out the old, putting in the new. This homeowner selected because his lead levels were high. He has a small child, and his girlfriend, who also lives here, is pregnant. I just want to thank Mayor Weaver for starting the FAST program and getting not only me, but my pregnant fiance and my daughter fresh, clean water finally. Yeah, we ain't got to worry about the lead poisoning ours. Right now, only enough funding for 30 homes. The mayor hoping the governor and feds will free up more money to make this scene play out all across the city of Flint. Also today in Flint, more than 20 members of Congress, including leader Nancy Pelosi, the representatives meeting with family members affected by this crisis directly, seeing firsthand the big problems here in Flint. What is happening in Flint challenges the conscience of our nation. This is a, 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 a tragedy of such magnitude because it breaks the, uh, the bond that people have with uh, the government. Back out here live again. This is just a portion of the pipe that was pulled out about 50 feet all together. Thousands of homes like this that the mayor says a need to have these pipes removed right now, though. There's only funding for roughly 30, maybe 35 homes. This is a huge undertaking, and the mayor knows she's going to need the support of the state and also the federal government to keep pushing this along. We're live here in Flint. Hank Winchester, help me, Hank, back to you. No doubt about it, Hank, but you could feel the, the, just the change in perspective there, people watching some work getting done today, right? Yeah, I mean, Devin, uh, the entire neighborhood was coming out here <laughs> yeah. to watch this pipe being removed from the ground. I mean, it was a big event and really an opportunity for the mayor to see this as the right step forward, at least for her plan. Newfound respect for municipal engineering and construction, no doubt. All right, Hank. Here at Local 4, we have, of course, spent months reporting on the situation in Yeah, Flint. that's right. Tens of thousands of people have reached out to help, and now we are proud to announce a way that you can continue to support the children of Flint. And today we're announcing a statewide telethon benefiting Flint. WDIV and four other television stations from across the state were all joining forces with Art Van Furniture for Flint Water Crisis for Our Families Telethon. This telethon will address the need for long-term care for the children of Flint. All proceeds will go to the Flint Child Health and Development Fund to help with things like education, nutrition, and medical intervention. Uh, you're going to be hearing a lot about this telethon the next week and a half. It's a week from Tuesday, so it's March 15th, all day from our studios here at WDIV and also at the Art Van Furniture Store in Flint. Yeah, we're hoping for donations large and small from businesses and organizations as well as you, the viewer. Again, it's an all-day statewide telethon for the children of Flint, Tuesday, March 15th right here on Local 4. And we know we're going to hear from a lot of terrific people who will be giving as they always are.